I'm at the Goodwill, gonna find a good deal. How is that not a jingle? Hmm? Tell me how. I don't know. I might bring you guys out in there. It depends on the cool stuff that I see. And anybody that does not Goodwill thrift, like, what? That's how I got this sweater. I mean, come on now. Okay, I didn't find anything, like, amazing in there. I saw some things that reminded me of my friends, and I sent it to them. But I did pick out three, three dresses and a shirt that I'm unable to try on here. So I'm going to put together little outfits at home, and we'll see if I keep them. And if I don't, unfortunately, I just get store credit back. But eventually, I'll use it there, so it's fine. I also grabbed... Some chips to try. I've never seen white cheddar kettle brand chips. Kettle brand is actually a local uh, chip. They, um, let me see you guys over here. Oh, actually, no, I'm gonna say you up here. Make sure you're in there good. I got a case of that gummy bears on the back, and it makes it hard for me to fit you guys into the phone holder. Anyways, this brand of kettle chips. Is from Salem, Oregon. I used to work right by this factory actually and the air would smell like delicious potatoes every day coming and going from where I worked. <laughs> okay, I'm so hungry. Okay, white cheddar. Hmm. It's like potato chip. The white cheddar is very, very subtle. But it still tastes good. I will eat them. I started feeling very like, not shaky, but anxious because I haven't eaten yet. And I almost felt like my vision was different. And I don't know if that was in my head. Like, not necessarily my vision, but like my tracking. Like, I just felt like I wasn't normal. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and eat one of those factor meals. I'll share with you guys what I eat today. Um, we'll try on some dresses. Mm. These chips are making me happy. The more I eat these, I feel like the white cheddar's taking my tongue and I can taste it now. Like they remind me of the white cheddar cheese it's mm. I think these might be my favorite now that I can taste the white cheddar. I really like jalapeno chips though. Yes. We got jalapeno chip on a tuna fish sandwich. Get out. So good. <laughs> Let me know down below if you guys put chips on your sandwiches or if you just never do because you think it's weird. I love spicy chips with my tuna fish. I kind of like goldfish on my tuna fish sandwiches. I know that that's weird. I like the crackers, a regular like cheddar goldfish. I just like the crunch. Um, on a bologna sandwich, I like trashy Dorito chips, like nacho cheese chips. I also like a good like just plain potato chip on those. Turkey. I like either Doritos or Cheetos. OG Cheetos. Finley actually saw me make a bologna sandwich a couple weeks ago and put Cheetos on it and he was disturbed with me. And he's my little foodie. He wouldn't even try it. He was like, that's wrong. <laughs> Which is good because it's not a good habit. <laughs> I just told myself I wasn't going to eat this whole bag. I dang near did. Mm. Okay, 
I'll see you guys at lunch. Okay, no factor lunch because after the math was done, I gotta keep them for lunches and dinners for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday because we don't get a new shipment until Wednesday. And if I don't make something homemade, we won't have a lunch or dinner this week. So, hold on. I hate that I don't know how to flip while I'm on the camera, but we're gonna make some amazing, oh, I did prepare for this. We are gonna make some amazing white cheddar Tillamook grilled cheese sandwiches. And Finley wanted tomato soup, which I don't think I have, so I'm gonna make him SpaghettiOs to dip his sandwich in. We got good old country white. And I just want to say I have some pretzels with little cheese scraps and dear lord, that was good. Okay, dress number one. I love it. It's got a little mock neck here. Love the print. I feel like I could pull in like brown boots. These are my like little gray suede's. I feel like I need tights maybe of some sort, but I really like it. I could do like a layered necklace. So we're keeping this one. I love this dress more than the other. Look how cute this is. It's got like peachy pink flowers in it. I could do like a black over thing. I could probably even do jeans. I feel like I could style this a couple different ways, but I just kept the gray boots on and then look, hold on. Oh, yes, yeah, she got pockets. Love this. Here's the last dress I picked. The only thing that I will say is that the buttons are a little finicky, which is fine because I would always wear a slip under it. So if it did come undone, it's easy to fix. But I'm wondering if I could like sew the holes, like put a little thread knot so they never come undone. But I think this is super cute. Again, would have to have some sort of, I think, leggings or something underneath but I really, really like it. It's pretty. And then this shirt, I love. It's got fun little studs on it, which is totally me. I kind of put it together with my boots. I got a little gold in them. And then the sleeves are a little see-through. I found this actually hidden in the dress area. So I saw it and I was like, I bet I would like this. And I do. Here. Cute. So lesson for the day is don't get down when you try on things and they don't fit. Because eventually you're going to find a store that's got some stuff for you. And luckily for me, it was Goodwill. I've just got to wash them all and I'm totally going to wear them all this week and feel my best. <laughs> okay. I was a good girl and I took my kiddos to Coldstone after they got their hair cut and I did not get any ice cream so I told myself I have this candy pop in the car that I want to try. I just dropped the kiddos off at home because I had a feeling the little one was going to be covered in ice cream and he was. <laughs> so I took them home and now we're going to try and see how the Snickers ice cream is or ice cream popcorn mm, for some reason it smells like tennis balls that's alarming <laughs> like burning tennis balls okay now it smells more like peanut butter or something I think that the zebra popcorn you get at Costco tastes better than this. This is less sweet.
yeah less sweet but i can tell you that i think the zebra popcorn sticks to your teeth more than this one does this is meh if i saw a big bag of this in the store i would not get out i'd pass i'm glad i gotta try it though because i have thought about buying those before there's like i think there's a cookies and cream one maybe that i've seen I could be making that up, but I feel like I've seen that before. I bet if this was cookies and cream, I would like it better. As I keep eating it like it's disgusting. It's not. It's just not great. I am at a local store just up the road because Safeway did not have cube steaks. Hopefully they do. Talk about the chicken fried steak tonight. I don't know why I'm sitting here thinking about this so much. Because I need not. I was thinking it would be nice to unbox here in my office. It's got a door. No interruption of kids. The lighting's gonna be amazing. So why not? I got the single swag box for the month of February. And I will say that I like it better than January's. I've already peeked it. I've already looked through the things. Uh, with a single swag, it is not for single people. It's just a self-care type of box. And of course, Hold on. That works. Um, it's just a self-care box. It has nothing to do with being single, because if it did, I wouldn't get it, duh. Um, but the box comes with an information card. It tells you about um, the products inside. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. Retail value is 208 course that's marked up we all know um but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got the thing on top is this it is the winter brand bee so cute so soft I haven't tried it on yet Ooh, that's serious warmth it does have some uh, loose end there. Why? It's like, that's not good. Retail value of this gem. Yeah. $38. Anyways, we're going to ignore the cool detail here. We're going to try it on. I mean... It's certainly warm. I wouldn't wear my hair this way, but it is warm. I like that it's not black. I thought it was black actually looking through this, but it is a dark blue. So yeah, I'm sure I will wear it or somebody in my house will. So we got that. We have from Fiona Rachel, a maximum hydrator. It's a replenishing moisturizer cream. This says it retails for $39. Yeah. Um, it just says it will soothe, refresh your parched skin with this electrolyte packed replenishing moisturizing cream. The quick absorbing formula will cool your skin without leaving it greasy residue behind. Perfect for all skin types. So I will be trying this out soon. I've got a couple moisturizers I already have open. This is going to be good for 36 months, but I at least want to like use a full something before I open up this bad boy. Um, but I don't know if there's any scent. Doesn't say. Moving on. I love the packaging. It says, I woke up like this. And who is this from? Sophia and Maybell. 
So this little baby is $28 and it is a primer. And I am glad I got this because putting on my makeup recently, I was like, I wish I had a primer. And here she is, no idea how it works. But the value of this, I don't remember if I said is $28. It says that it is infused with hyaluronic acid, the holy grail hydrator. This all-star primer is designed to quench your skin's thirst while creating a smooth base for flawless, fresh-looking makeup. It also blurs the look of pores and imperfections for a smooth and bright complexion. So, love that so much. Keep it on. We have Lux Yuka. I was gonna say Luca look this. Eucalyptus eucalyptus jasmine pillow mist um this is 24 dollars, and it's supposed to be something that you can put on your pillow at night and help you rest i also noticed um it says it's um jasmine is jasmine essential oil is believed to have immune boosting and antifungal properties which if that's true that's great if i struggle with acne and anything to help make things cleaner for my face, right? The better. I need scissors. Okay. Let's sniff her. Here's the bottle. Mmm. Spread my feet. Good mist. I think I like it. Undecided. Undecided. There's something about it that almost smells minty. Okay, we have this little package. They always have like a jewelry type item. Last month was a bookmark and it was okay. Um, let's see. This is Indigo Authority. $54, which it is a earring and necklace combo, which I do love. I wear both, so I'm excited to get it, but I just don't think when looking at this that that value is accurate. You guys tell me what you think. I mean, it's beautiful. I love the little like faux druzy moment here and the color is beautiful. These earrings are totally my style. I will wear them. But $54. I mean, I feel like this is something I would see at Marshall's for $14.99, you know? Just saying. Marshall's has ruined me, and I think everything full retail markup is ridiculous, and I would stop shopping. I would. Okay. We have this is a Bun gel and it says it's multi-use it's to cleanse exfoliate massage and nourish it is a body wash infused buffer I thought that this was pretty interesting I don't know how many uses you get out of it it says to put it under water squeeze to absorb massage in a circular motion to cleanse your skin squeeze out excess after each use and it's a little flower it's like a tough sponge and it just smells clean like think of like a generic soap that's the smell it says lavender sky does it smell like lavender one more time hold on mm, it smells like cold lady clean but i'll put this in my shower and give it a go we'll see how many uses it has it'll get used for sure so so far i mean Everything in this box will get used, and that's cool. The final thing is this bar of chocolate from Sweet Wishes. It's just a dark chocolate bar. Very bold move, since a lot of people don't like dark chocolate. I do. Um, it says that this is worth $5, and I definitely feel like this looks, like, cheap. Like, but you know what? It's a big, it's a big piece of chocolate for $5. I'm not expecting much. 
It says to indulge in delectable premium chocolate bar prepared with high quality cocoa beans and extra cocoa butter for balance and texture. I mean, nothing about this looks high quality, but it's from Poland. So however they do it is high quality. All right, you guys, let me know what you thought of this box. I'm probably not going to do any type of uh, follow-up video like I did with my last one, um, utilizing the products and stuff just because um, I don't really know how to show these, but I'm sure you'll see the beanie in a future video, the earrings and the necklace, and um, I'll talk about anything that I love. How about that? Thank you guys for watching. Take care and love always.